what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time we're going to be talking about even more Transformers reveals. We talked about the Studio Series core class figures the other day and now it's moving on to the Transformers Generations Legacy Voyager class figures. Now before we talk about the images themselves, we actually had, funny enough, another listing for another Legacy Voyager class figure and that is Metal Hawk. For those who don't know, Metal Hawk was an original Pretender character. So I'm kind of confused by that because going off of what we know and the listings we've heard, it seems like most of the Pretenders are going to be core class figures that are kind of an amalgamation of their Pretender shells with the actual core robot. So the robot mode evokes the design of the Pretender shell, but their alt mode is that of the core class figure. So I'm curious to see exactly how they'll do Metal Hawk, if he'll have a core class figure and then he'll have some sort of pretender shell. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But we're going to focus on these images for the Voyager class, Armada, Starscream, and the Beast Wars style Predacon Inferno. So starting off with Starscream, I've actually had a history with Starscream. While I've never had the original Armada Starscream toy, I did get the Generations Armada Starscream. This is a deluxe class figure and I was open to getting another one because I feel like he should have been bigger. But not only that, I've actually recently purchased the mold, I got the Universe Class Ramjet. And even before all this, I actually did get the Armada Starscream. It was the built to rule brick based one. So that was actually my first Starscream ever and surprisingly enough I have most of the parts. I could probably do a review of that. Anyways, focusing on this, I feel like it's the perfect opportunity to have this because I feel like a taller figure with modern articulation was necessary. Because, let me tell you this, I like the Universe Ramjet, but the articulation is not there. And so this is perfect. I will say that I'm a little bothered by the sword just plugging at the bottom there. While it does have the proper design of the sword from the Armada series, I did like the idea that the wing would detach and form the sword, but he also has another blade on the side, and I believe that is the Energon Star Saber or something? It's something from the original cartoon to where the Minicons combine into a sword. I can't remember if it's the Star Saber or something else, but I believe it's called the Star Saber. It is in transparent blue, but it's a nice touch. It is definitely something that the original Starscream had wielded in a couple of the episodes, so that's cool. And taking a look at the jet itself, I do like the placement of the arms. It's not just tucked back. It's completely underneath the wings, which is something from the original design. I think the wings look nice. I think the colors are good with gray, yellow, and black. I will say that it's kind of weird that he has a blue transparent cockpit and not yellow. And if you do notice, it does seem like it has some sort of firing weapon gimmick. And I'm not saying that it will fire off, but some sort of spring gimmick or maybe something will move. Because you can see that there's joints in the thrusters and the original toy had these blasters that would flip out. So it seems like that's going to be the case here. Uh, I do like the breakup with the yellow and black in between the boosters. Uh, yeah, it just looks very nice, very sharp, and uh, I especially like the design of the cockpit itself. The robot mode does look pretty cool, but again, I feel like it's got a little too much red in the body. Maybe that's just me, but I, I think it needs some gray to break it up. But I think overall, it does look like an oversized deluxe class version of the Armada Starscream. I'm curious to see if the blasters will flip down. I'm pretty sure they will. Uh, it's a good look for him. I like the blade. Again, I would like the wing to be tucked in, but uh, overall, he looks pretty good. I will say that I do like the fact that the shoulders will be able to move in and out. Of course they will, but that's something that the original toy did not have. You were just able to rotate the arms like this, and it was kind of weird, but um, yeah, I think he does look pretty good. I like the head sculpt. I think the design is nice. Maybe the wings could have been a little more slimmer, but otherwise, I think he's a pretty good toy. And, or at least the look of the toy is, I can't really say for sure because I don't have it in hand. And there's the packaging, looks very nice. And then we move on to the royalty, this is Inferno. And much like the Kingdom figures, the Beast Mode is more uh, closer to a realistic ant more than anything, or at least that's what it seems to be, I can't really say for sure, I'm not basing this one to one with an ant. But it has more realistic textures to it. So it, it kind of strays away from the original design, but not too far off. I do like the colors of it with the red, and then there's also this kind of deeper, almost purpley red in the middle there. kind of reminds me of some of the toys. 
And I do like the blaster being hooked on the top, but I'm kind of hoping that the back shell will be able to open and you could do something with that. But that might not be the case. It seems like it's storing a bunch of its components in the back there. So I'm not entirely sure exactly how that's going to go. But it, it could probably do it for the robot mode at least. I think the insect legs look good. And some people had said, oh, this is going to be a rework of the Waspinator. It's not. I can tell it's not. I'm not seeing any component here that's similar to Waspinator. If anything, I think the chest splits open, but I think that's something for the transformation, and I can't really confirm that's the case. But uh, otherwise, he does look pretty cool. I'm curious to see if they'll do an Antagony figure soon. So that would be nice. And then there's the robot mode. Now, one thing I absolutely love about this design is the head sculpt with the opening jaw. It's kind of creepy, but it looks cool. It's definitely evoking that Inferno design. Obviously, this isn't G1 Inferno, you know, the fire truck. This is a different character. And uh, yeah, I think overall he does look pretty nice. Very slimmed down, but uh, especially at the legs. He, he just looks kind of thin to me, but uh, you know, that's fine. I'm not complaining about it. It's just something to point out. And I do like the metallic blue being used for the, well, metallic parts. And, uh, yeah, I just think it looks nice. So, I'm excited for this wave. It looks pretty awesome. I I'm curious to see when they'll come out. And, uh, yeah, without the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun do that. And we'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.